And after that awful storm, too. However did you survive? <laughs> You're a jolly one. What's this? You poor thing. Come here. Come here. Oh, there's no need to be frightened anymore. You're safe now, little fellow. You're a lifesaver. Trust me to lose my headscarf just before the big ceremony. <sighs> so it's finally here, the big day. I can't believe we're going to be climbing all the way up there. Looks like Sandy's keen to lead the way. Come on, best not keep her waiting. Cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. That's how it goes, isn't it? 
My granddad's been teaching me the prayer ever since I was little. He reckons the spirit of the land really does live on Cobblestone Tor, you see. As long as I can remember, he's been preparing me for this day. The day it would finally be my turn to climb all the way up there and offer my thanks. I just wonder whose idea it was in the first place, sending the village's young folk on such a dangerous errand. What if I take a tumble and do myself a mischief? Well, not to worry. Since you and me were born on the same day, I'm lucky enough to have a bodyguard along for the journey. Come on, then. That craggy old thing won't climb its... Oh! Blighters, aren't they? Crikey! I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I know they were only little, but I'd have been done for if you and Sandy hadn't been here to help me. And now we've got to go through that horrible, dingy cave. Just our luck. I'll bet you anything that's where those awful things came from. Well, as long as you're with me, I've got nothing to worry about. Come on, let's get going.
little blighters, aren't they? Lighters, aren't they? Blighters, aren't they? Help 
him! <laughs> it's not fog at all! It's more monsters! Blighters, aren't they? Well done! <laughs> I... I'm sorry, Gemma. I only came up here because I thought it'd be funny to jump out and surprise you. But then those monsters appeared. What in the world is going on? I never heard anything about monsters appearing on the tour before. But never mind that now. Whatever were you thinking? You could have been killed. You take Sandy and get back to the village this instant. Y yes Gemma. Sorry Gemma. <sighs> You saved my bacon again. <laughs> I knew you were tough, but crikey, you really have grown into quite the hero. Not far to the top now. Oh, typical. It would have to go and start raining, wouldn't it? Come on, let's get a move on.
it's such a shame about the weather. I was really looking forward to that view. Well, we better say the pair and get this ceremony over with, eh? What? What was that? of lightning. It was almost like you made it happen. about that later. All I know is that you saved me yet again. I don't know what I'd do without you. Now, we really had better be finishing up this ceremony. Humble folk of cobblestone, great land spirits hearth and home, lift your voices up in prayer, sing it across all our drear. Blessed are we since days of yore, let it be so forevermore. <gasps> wow! Look! It just goes on and on and on. Whoever dreamed up this ceremony must have had this in mind. They wanted to show us how huge our world really is. <laughs> well, that's it. It's all over and now we're grown-ups. Shall we head down and tell Grandad and everyone? They'll all be waiting for us at the bottom.
right, Grandad? Indeed you are, my dear. Thank the spirits for that. When we saw lightning striking up there, we got a little worried, I have to tell you. <laughs> Well, I never. Sounds like it's nothing short of a miracle that you made it back in one piece. Well, there's no doubt about it. The spirit of the land was watching over you. Now tell me, my dear, how was the view from the top? Oh, it was wonderful. I saw the sea stretch into the horizon and the sunlight playing on the water and... Oh, I've never seen anything like it in my life. <laughs> You're true cobblestonians now. Only we have the pleasure of looking out over the world of Erdria in such breathtaking fashion, you know. You're still young. And the day may yet come when you decide to leave cobblestone behind. I hope our little ceremony has opened your eyes to a little of what may await you out there. Now, it's high time we were heading back. I'm sure your mother is eager to hear how things went, young man. Don't keep poor Amber in suspense. Come on, you. Home time.
Soldier! Well, not so little anymore. I've heard all about your big adventure. Look at you, all grown up. I hope he wasn't too much of a bother, Gemma dear. <laughs> of course not. Quite the opposite, in fact. You would have been proud of him. We got attacked by a monster at the top of the tour, and I ended up hanging onto the edge of the cliff by my fingertips. I thought I was done for. But you'll never guess what happened next. That mark on his hand suddenly lit up and a bolt of lightning hit the monster. What did you say? That funny little mark? Lightning flying about the place? Goodness me. Here I was hoping he'd turn out nice and ordinary, but it seems his grandfather was right all along. Well, I've been putting this off for long enough now. 
you and me need to have a little talk. Here. This belongs to you. Your grandfather asked me to give you it once you'd come of age and climbed the tour. The truth is, there's something I've been keeping a secret all these years. Something I've never told another soul in the village. It's... how can I put this now? Um... well... he said you're... You're the reincarnation of the Luminary! What? Oh, don't ask me what the old fool meant, dear. I haven't got the foggiest. All I know is that your grandfather said you had a special destiny and that there was something you had to do. He said that when you came of age, you were to head north to the capital, up there in Heliodor, and show that necklace thingy to the king. He seemed to think that if you did that, all would become clear. Clear as mud, I shouldn't wonder. Anyway, the long and short of it is that if you want to find out what this is all about, you'll have to leave Cobblestone and head over to Heliodor. Crikey. <laughs> well, I can't stop you leaving, I'm sure, but you won't be marching on an empty stomach. Come on, dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep either, eh? 
You remember this tree, don't you? I got my scarf stuck in it all those years ago. There I was, crying like mad, and there you were, running round trying to help me get it down. <laughs> Some things never change, eh? You know, I always imagined we'd spend our whole lives right here in Cobblestone. That's why I was so surprised by what your mum said today. All that stuff about you being the luminary, that reincarnation thing. <sighs> I remember the story my granddad told me. Once upon a time, long, long ago, the world was terrorized by a horrible monster. When it was all over, the luminary turned into a star, and he's been watching over us from up in the heavens ever since. That's his star, right there. <sighs> How can you be the luminary too? I... I just don't get it. I know. That's what you're going to Heliodor to find out. I understand. Really, I do. Listen, we should both be getting back. Everyone will be wondering where we've got to. Goodbye, old friend. <laughs> well, just look at you. You don't scrub up too bad, you know. Only wish your grandfather were here to see you. You won't forget him, will you? He was a fine, upstanding man, the pride of the village. You could do worse than try to be like him. Well, however you turn out, I'm sure you'll find a way to overcome whatever lies ahead. A mother knows these things. Oh, by the way, I've popped a little money I'd saved for a rainy day in your pack. Don't spend it all at once. Why don't you visit the village shop before you head off to Heliodor? You'll need some supplies for your big adventure. But don't take too long. The whole village is turning out to wave you off.
Just a little boy. The next you're getting ready to leave us. I only wish your grandfather could see what a fine young man you've become. To think, it's been so many years already since old Chalky found you floating in. What do you mean? Since he brought you to Cobblestone. We never thought there was anything out of the ordinary about you. And now suddenly there's all this talk of luminaries of all things. You know who the luminary was, of course. A legendary hero who saved the world from a terrible darkness. And we're supposed to believe that you're him reincarnated? <laughs> I don't doubt old Chalky, of course, but it is a little hard to swallow, I must say. When you meet the King of Heliodor, put in a good word for old Cobblestone, won't you, eh? <laughs> if he finds out this is the village where the luminary was raised, there might be something in it for us. <laughs> oh, you are terrible. Trust you to be thinking about what you can get out of it. Oh, no, I'm only joking, of course. The very thought. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Ah, yes. Now, the fate that awaits you may well be one beyond anything we simple country folk can imagine. But you must allow us to offer what little assistance we can. Take... May this magnificent steed, the pride of Cobblestone, lighten your burden and speed you on your way. You'll find Heliodor easily enough. Just head north out of the village and follow your nose. You travel safely now. Oh, you're such a good boy, such a good boy. You make us proud out there, won't you? And come back safe. Wait. Here, take this with you. I it'll keep you safe. I heard there are lots of monsters where you're going. Be sure to keep it close, won't you? Oh, I don't know what's in store for you out there. But wherever you go and whoever you meet, don't... Don't forget us, will you? Take care. And remember, we'll be waiting for you.
Ho, ho, ho! What have we here? I know a budding adventurer when I see one. It can be risky heading into the great outdoors if you aren't familiar with the basics of survival, you know. See the remains of that fire over there? Well, when you spy one of those, it means you can set up camp and rest your weary bones. To settle down for the night, just go up to the fire and examine it. You'll soon be enjoying a well-earned break. What's that? You're worried about being attacked by monsters while you sleep? Oh, ye of little faith! That statue over there is chock full of holy powers that'll keep the beasties at bay for as long as you need. And that's not all. You can pray to it to be cured of poison and all kinds of other things. Think of it as a mini church. Anyway, enough of my yammering. Why don't you take a closer look at all this camping kit for yourself? You'll need to get used to what campsites look like and how to find them. After all, you'll be relying on them whenever you're out in the wilderness. It's like my old dad always said. Keen campers can continue on where others can't. Well, that's all from me. If you have any camping-related queries, feel free to ask. I'm here all the time. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else.